And now, your Precision 18 forecast. News 18. Weather from where you live. Well, we saw a particularly dry day with that area of high pressure moving through the region yesterday. This morning, not so much. We're tracking low pressure that's centralized over the central Great Plains as of now. But more importantly, a warm front associated with that low pressure system is continuing to lift northeastward. And that is why we're beginning to see our rain chances move into the region as of this morning. However, a pretty interesting uh, situation we have this morning. You can see pretty sustained rainfall throughout the entire viewing area. That's a loft. However, here at the surface, things are so dry that high pressure yesterday left humidity down around 20% over the last few hours. Now, the humidity is on the rise, however, still not high enough to sustain rainfall throughout the entire viewing area. That's why we're beginning to see this rainfall at first and then instantly evaporate back up into the atmosphere. Check this out. Humidity 38%. That's incredibly low for this part of the day. Once we had that first line of rain roll through the viewing area and roll into West Lafayette, I I peeked out the door really quick. We did have those rain showers falling. However, just 10 minutes later, it was completely dry. The pavement had already dried up with all that low humidity out there. So we're going to begin to see more of these rain showers fall. But at this time, don't be surprised if you're not seeing any rain. You still will want to grab that umbrella as you head out the door this morning. 37 degrees Crawfordsville. It's 36 Kokomo, 36 and Rensselaer as well. Check out our high-res future cast here. You'll continue to see that rainfall make its way across the viewing area over the next couple of hours. Once again, as that humidity rise, we start to talk about more rain chances throughout the remainder of your day. We'll have that warm front lift northward, bringing more southerly winds along with the moisture in from the southwest. Not to mention, those southerly winds will be gusting at times as high as 40 miles per hour. Now, later in the day, we'll dry out for a brief period before the cold front begins to roll through. The good news is the majority of the heaviest rainfall pushes off to the east of us. Still, we're expecting good chances of scattered rainfall throughout the entire afternoon and evening, finally drying out by tomorrow morning. We'll hit 51 degrees in West Lafayette later this afternoon. That is a degree shy of the average high temperature for this time of the year. 49 Crawfordsville, 47 degrees in Logansport later today. We'll stick around 39 overnight tonight into tomorrow morning. Winds will still be breezy from the south, 20 to 30 miles per hour. Once that cold front pushes through during the late night, early morning hours, winds will begin the shift back to the northwest. We're expecting a clearer day tomorrow. Actually, a pretty nice one to say the least for your Friday. Still a bit on the breezy side. We'll see that cloud cover clear out after your lunch hour. And one would say, hey, you know, maybe. Maybe it's going to be sunny. We'll see the sun. We'll see some warmer temperatures. Well, because of those northwesterly winds, temperatures, in fact, will be about the same as we're expecting today. We'll top out at 51 degrees once again, West Lafayette, 53 in Romney, right around 53 Attica, 49 degrees will be your afternoon high temperature in Winnemac for tomorrow afternoon. Now, believe it or not, this low pressure system we're dealing with right now is the first of four separate low pressure systems that we're expecting over the next week. So we have that first round of rainfall beginning to move into the viewing area this morning, continuing into possibly even tomorrow morning. Tomorrow looks dry, but we have our secondary low pressure system roll through Friday night into Saturday morning. 47 your afternoon high temperature on Saturday. We'll bounce back to 62 as an area of high pressure moves eastward, bring southerly winds back to the viewing area. Our third round of low pressure and rainfall heads our way for Monday. Scattered showers, possibly a couple thunderstorms that day, but a much better chance the rain heads our way with our fourth round of low pressure heading our way next Wednesday. 58 degrees, your high temperature that day. Scattered chances for showers and thunderstorms, but altogether at least next week does look a little bit warmer. The next few days, slightly below average as far as temperatures go. Next week, actually climbing above average. Definitely looking forward to some warmer temperatures. Oh, very much. All right, Cam, thanks very much. Straight